What's up everyone? Happy Wednesday. Today, we're gonna to talk about the math tools that are available in the Whiteboard app on your panel. So, if you're looking at your panel and looking at your menu on the left here, if you notice this icon right here, looks like a little hamburger. It's not a hamburger, maybe that's just to me. It's not a Big Mac. That is actually your big math tools. Okay, that was cheesy, I apologize. But anyway, so these are the math tools that are available for you to use when you're in the whiteboard. So when you click that icon, it's gonna show you, you have a ruler, a set square, a half protractor and a full protractor. Now I'm gonna click on the ruler just to pull it out. What's great about this is when you pinch and zoom with your fingers, you can make it bigger or smaller, you can rotate it. And notice the ruler has the degrees on it so you can tell when you have it lined up correctly. And I'm struggling, there we go. What I also like about the tool is if you take your pen or your finger and put it on the edge and draw, it's gonna draw a straight line for you even if your pen is moving up and down, which I love. So that's your ruler. You can click the X to turn it off. You have the set square next. And if I put my finger in the gray area, I can rotate. If I need to, I can move it, I can resize it. But it's the same concept. If you put your pin on the edge, you can draw a straight edge here. When I'm finished, I can click the X to close it. Yay. Now, the half protractor, I'm gonna just click and drag to move it. Notice that my dot in the middle is red. So when you have a red dot and you take your pen and put it on the edge, if you click and drag along the edge, it will draw a filled angle for you. Okay, but notice what happens if I click that button in the middle and change it from red to blue. Now, when I click on the edge, it's going to give me a line. So then I can have the angle that's not filled. Then if I click on it one more time, it's going to turn it green and green is going to give me a line along the edge so that I can draw that curve for the angle. So that's the half protractor. Again, you can move it. You can pinch and zoom to make it bigger or smaller. I'm going to click the X to close it. And the last tool I'll show you is your full protractor. So when I pull it out again, I'm just going to move it to a clean space. Red is going to be filled. And so Tip, if you need a circle, if you just click once on the edge, it's gonna do a filled circle for you, which is awesome. Let me get to a cleaner space, there we go. Same idea, if I touch the middle, it's gonna turn it blue. And so then I can just do those little angles and then again, touch it green and it does my side. So, those are the math tools. They're available for you with just a click of that little hamburger icon. Pull them out, get what you need, do what you need to do, and you are set. Hope this helps.